Greetings, friends and colleagues. <laughs> it's Sean Elvis. It's good to see you. Hey, I'm back in Denver. Um, I'm here at Centennial Park in Englewood, Colorado. It's a beautiful sunny day and uh, weather feels great. Slight breeze, man, it just feels great. Um, it's great to be back. I just wanted to do a quick video here to encourage my brothers today and uh, my subscribers, you know, because we're out here in the wilderness, life gets tough, you know how it is, so your boy here, Sean Elvis, is going to give you some encouragement, hopefully the words that I speak today, um, God will bless them and encourage your spirit as well, anyway, let's get into the message, you know, I've been in Mexico the past week, and I learned a lot, um, so, you know, those, those, uh, what I learned out there is sinking into my spirit, uh, sinking into my conscious, and I'm, and I'm uh, chewing it on it, and uh, when I digest it, I guarantee you guys will get that information. For now, though, I just wanted to share a few short scriptures out of the Bible um, and talk about them and give you guys uh, some encouragement. Anyways, I'm going to read uh, from the letter of St. Paul uh, to Philemon. Uh, just a few short, uh, it's only one chapter, but I'm just going to read a few short verses anyway. Uh, verse uh, 4 through seven says i thank my god making mention of these of thee always in my prayers hearing of thy love and faith which thou hast towards the lord jesus and towards all the saints that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in christ jesus for we have a great joy and consolation in thy love because the bowels of the saints are refreshed by thee brother Amen. Now, the first thing I wanted to say about this verse, um, or this, uh, not the verse, but, you know, this passage, is that Paul uh, gave thanks to God. You know, the, uh, the first thing he says in verse 4 is, uh, where is it, sorry, I thank, <laughs> I thank my God, right? So, and I did a video about that a few uh, uh, days ago and when I was in Chichen Itza in, in, uh, in Yucatan, Mexico. And I preach the uh, importance of giving thanks. And, and ever since then, uh, every single day, every single meal before I put any food into my body, I, I sit down and I, and I thank God, you know. I give thanks every single day. And not one of those, oh, thank you, and then you just eat, right? Oh, grace. <laughs> no, I actually uh, do what you're supposed to do and humble myself. I, I humble myself before the Lord. Um, and I thank God sincerely and humbly for taking care of me. And, and, I, and I try to think of something, you know, more than just thank you for this food, you know. Because um, I don't want to become like a spoiled brat, you know. Like, uh, like it's so easy, you know, that God does so much for us for us to just overlook it, you know. Like just the fact that your heart's beating. <laughs> you could be thankful for that. Just the fact that you get to see the sun today and listen to this message, you know, be thankful for that, you know, but, um, but Paul, uh, stresses the importance of give, giving thanks, you know, that's the first thing he says, I thank God, you know, I thank my God, um, and, you know, there, there's so much power in just giving thanks, gentlemen, when somebody, when somebody does something for you, don't you thank them, you know, you say, oh, thank you so much, you know, you didn't have to do that, um, but in this verse, Paul shows us the importance of humbling ourselves, you know, and, and, and through, pe through prayer and just, and just being thankful. You know, it's important to keep your brothers in your prayer as well. What's the next thing that Paul says in his message is, is uh, I'm, I'm thankful for my brother, Philemon, right? So it, it's, it's important to mention your fellow brothers in your prayers. And Paul, uh, uh, I'm read, kind of reading my notes here. You know, um, you know, to think, to to think of your friends and your family, and your fellow brothers, and to pray for them. Uh, that's powerful, you know, and that's important for us to do that. And it's also important to have a younger disciple. You know, I know I, I take a look at my life, and I know I have a bigger uh, so-called brother, you know, brother in the faith, who I look up to and who helps me along, and. Uh, and who checks up on me once in a while, sorry. And it's important to have a younger brother that you can 
uh, help guide. You know, Paul had Philemon. You know, Jesus had his disciples. Um, so it's important to have people in your life that you can look, kind of look after like your flock. So, you know, I, I wouldn't say that I have a younger brother per se right now in the faith, but that's one of my goals in the upcoming year to come is to, is to really take somebody under my wing and just make them my brother and, um, and look after them, help guide them, teach them, um, and learn from my mistakes that I made in my lifetime. And, and you know, the next thing Paul says that stands out to me in this, in this passage is he says, Hearing of thy love and faith which thou hast towards the Lord Jesus and towards all saints, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. The next thing that stands out to me here is communication. Communication. You know, Paul talks about the importance of communication. You know, we can communicate things both verbally and non-verbally, right? You can either say something or do something for somebody, smile at somebody. Anything could be a form of communication, right? Um, maybe you make a grunt or, or a sound, <laughs> whatever, right? You know, you, you can communicate things to people without speaking. But Paul stresses the importance of communication here. You know, the Bible talks about how our conversation uh, should be based on love and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, sound speech that cannot be condemned. You know, our, our communication is important because whether we like it or accept it or not, you know, people are watching us. You know, people watch what we do, what we say, how we act. And um, so everything we do, our communication should be righteous, should be holy. And it should be based on our faith and our love for our brothers, uh, especially through Jesus Christ. You know, following the commandments. You don't want to be breaking the rules because people will be calling you a hypocrite, right? Oh, he preaches one thing, but he does another, right? You know, that's one of the things that I struggle with in the past that I have since then corrected. And I'm a lot on a more straight and narrow path now. And, and uh, I can feel it in my spirit. I can feel the power of God, you know, working through me um, in my life because of it. Anyways, moving on, you know, Paul was writing this letter uh, to his young brother Philemon, right? Well, what's our modern way to show love to our brothers? You know, you might send a text message, right? Or an email to one of your friends, one of your brothers in Christ and, and just, you know, try to encourage them. Maybe you just, just to say hi, just say, hey, bro, I'm thinking about you. You know, what's up? You know, is there anything I can help you with? Or, or maybe you need help. You know, maybe, maybe you need help from your brother and you can say, hey, bro, you know, I need somebody to talk to. You know, I'm having a rough day. You know, that, that could be a loving communication too, you know, because it's not like we're always going to be on the up and up. You know, that's why the Bible says we have to exhort one another daily because uh, at any moment one of us could fall into sin, fall into temptation and go back to living a, a wicked lifestyle. You know what I mean? So we have to constantly be helping each other, keeping uh, each other in check. Um, So, you know, I'm making this video today to encourage you guys, and I want to challenge you guys. So I'm going to set up a little challenge here for you brothers, you know, because I want each other to lift each other up. So my challenge today is to, is to uh, try to go out there and, and communicate with one of your brothers, with one of your brothers, one of your friends. Um, and if you don't got any, there, there's your challenge right there to make one. Make a brother, make a friend. Go meet somebody, right? Um, and if you're just feeling and you're saying to yourself, man, I've had a bad week, I've had a bad year, you know, I've had a bad day, I just don't feel like talking to anybody, you know what? I challenge you, I challenge you to just go out there and just talk to somebody. Talk to somebody, you know? Try to encourage them, maybe you ask them to encourage you, whatever. And I, but I guarantee you, you know, you get out there and you communicate, you're gonna feel better. You are gonna feel better. And if you don't, then I lied to you and I'm sorry, but you know what, I don't think that's not going to be the case. You know, you're going to feel better. You start communicating, especially through the Lord Jesus Christ. You, there's power in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, you just go up to one of your brothers and you start talking about Jesus. And there's power in that name. You know, the Bible says that where two or more are um, uh, together. Uh, I'm paraphrasing. I kind of forgot. But, but the Bible says where there are two or more in the, in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ is in the midst of you. 
So just bring up the powerful name Jesus and that will be, bring so much power into both of your lives and he'll be in there in the midst of both of you and he will heal your spirit he will go inside your soul and he will make those little tiny little corrections that you wouldn't even think were possible to be made but they'll be made let me open up my notes here because i wanted to close i wanted to close with a uh, reading from psalms but before i close um, i wanted to uh, remind you of the challenge you know the challenge to communicate with your brothers and give thanks for god you know because that's important you know, to make sure that our, that our communication with each other is honest, it's righteous, um, because communication is, port- is important, guys. It's the name of the game. It's the name of the game. You know, Paul said it. Paul said it. Go back and read uh, Philemon chapter 1, verse 4 through 7. He said he gives thanks to God, and he talks about communication, the importance of communicating your love and your faith. That way it has an effect, you know, because if you don't communicate it with people, if you're out there... Ha- uh, shrugging your shoulders and 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 you know hanging your head low um you're going to communicate to people that you have no hope no joy in your heart for the lord jesus christ and what he done for us what he taught us and the way he told us to live our lives you know and he told us take care of your brothers take care of your brothers you know love your brothers that's what he was telling philemon he was he was um he was writing a letter to philemon saying hey i notice all the love and faith in your heart towards your, bro- your fellow brothers. You're doing a great job. I want you to know that I pray for you all the time, you know. And I, and I hope you keep going the righteous pathway because you're on the righteous pathway. And no matter what happens to you, no matter what happens to you in your life, whether you get persecuted by uh, whoever, you know, whether it's your job or whether it's the government or whether it's the opposite, say whatever, whoever is persecuting you because you will... <laughs> Whoever shall live righteously in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You know, so you're going to go out there. You're going to be persecuted. You're going to get beat up. So you need your brothers to help lift you up to keep going. You know, and it's Friday. You know, it's a few days till Sunday when I'm going to go back to church. So you know what? Go lift up your brothers before uh, before Sunday rolls around so we can roll into Sunday church. Um, and we can all go in there with our heads high, lift it up together more stronger as a brotherhood anyway that's my message guys um i hope it encouraged you and i challenge you to go out there and uh get some righteous communication with the brothers and thank god first always thank god first anyway that's my message i'm going to sign off right now i'm going to read um from the book of psalms uh chapter number 20 28 just a few short verses starting in verse 6 um god bless you guys as usual god has the last word amen Bible reads Psalm 28, verse 6 through 9. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusteth in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and my song that I sing will I praise him. The Lord is is their strength, and he is the saving strength of all his anointed. Save thy people, and, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Amen.